Hey everyone, so this is The Circle, um, season 6, episodes 9 and 10. So episodes, episode 9 is called Naughty or Nice. We pick up where we left off and we find out that Kyle chooses to stay while Paul Chris sacrificed themselves and therefore blocked. Um, everyone finds out that one player in the ride or die sacrificed themselves for their ride or die and was the only one blocked and they find out that Paul sacrificed himself. Um, Paul Chris gets to meet Kyle and goes to meet him. Um, and then um, Kyle figures out that um, uh, Paul is actually Chris, um, his, Paul's older sister. Um, Chris tells him, you know, she doesn't trust Lauren after he said Paul was her king, then turned right around to say Paul was AI. Kyle tells Caress that he was, or maybe still is to some extent, about the AI comment that uh, Olivia made in the picture, but connected on um, they connected on losing their fathers young. Um, so the next morning, everyone watches the video with um, Paul Caress. Um, that uh that they leave um then it goes to the public circle chat kyle lies and says he wasn't the one who was paul's ride or die lauren says that she and paul left with a lot of love which upset kyle upsets kyle um because you know of everything that caress said um lauren claims are throwing her under the bus with strategy but autumn says it's crap and stupid because throwing trash on her could very well send Autumn and thus her home. Um, after the public chat, Autumn starts a private chat with Lauren. Autumn asks what her strategy was behind her sta uh, saying her uh, name in the uh, would you, uh, who is most likely and who is least likely. Um, and Lauren claimed she thought Lauren, Autumn would, wouldn't feel bad about her saying her name and didn't think it would cause a domino effect. And uh, at this point, I was like, girl, are you dumb or are you fucking dumb? Because it makes no damn sense. Um, Autumn has to remind her that um, their destinies are tied together. At least up at, at least as far as they know, they're still tied together. So, yeah, it's was like... I don't even know if, she's a, if she was a, a successful gamer. Because as far as I remember, uh, Lauren says that she... Uh, played uh, game. She did game. I guess gaming professionally, and it sounded like she wasn't gaming anymore professionally. So, so I'm wondering, like, well, what what does that? I mean, did she not play game? Did she not play games professionally anymore? Because if that's the case, then why was that? Because it doesn't seem. Because the only thing I can think of is that the only reason why you're not playing games professionally anymore is because you're you're trash at it. Just like you're trash at this. Your your strategy is dumb as hell. And the only reason why you know people haven't been voting you to go home, or or you haven't gone home yet, is because other people were on their priority list than you. Are higher up on their party list than you, so I'm like, um, Lauren claims that she has Autumn's back, um, uh, and then Autumn makes a comment with the with the the hashtag ride or die till the end, um, which Lauren doesn't like because that has to because she has to think about herself first and Alliance second. And I'm just like, bitch, if you don't fuck, like, what the hell? Um, it still doesn't, it, like, she still doesn't get it. Because it's like, until you're told otherwise, that your fate is no longer tied to your ride or die's fate, you're gonna have to think about the other person, too. You can't just do this all willy-nilly and shit and just, like, yeah, because she got lucky. Like, they, like, her and Autumn literally got fucking lucky in the last rating because, um... And, and they were rated high, at least high, both of them were rated, rated at least high enough to the point that neither one was in the bottom. And therefore, sucked the, their ride or die down to the fucking bottom. So, um, and to be quite honest, if 
we don't see what we see in episode 10, I don't think, I, I don't believe either one would have sacrificed themselves for the other one to stay. Hell, even if it was what, if, even if one of, if it was them that had been at the bottom, um, bottom two, I don't, I don't believe either one would have, like, sacrificed themselves for the other one to stay. Either both of them would have said they wanted to stay and they're, therefore, both of them would have left, or both of them would have said sacrifice and they would have both left anyway. So, and I, she, I'm just like, and that's why I was like, stupid is as stupid does. I'm like, uh, thank you for a stump, because my God, that is crazy, because Lauren is fucking stuck on stupid. I don't get it. Um, anyway, so Miles starts a private chat with Jordan, um, Jordan decides to fake being nice to be able to stab him in the back later. Uh, Olivia Brandon starts a private chat with QT. QT apologizes for blocking Cassie and they uh, solidify alliance with each other. We then talk strategy. Olivia shares that she has a good connection with Lauren and Kyle, but um, nervous about Autumn because of what she had to do in the game. Um, QT says the same about Autumn because she likes to stir the pot a little. And asks if there's any love between her and Kyle, to which Olivia says no, and QT will put in a good word for her. So they then go to uh, another game called Naughty and Nice. The players will post two photos from their private albums in their circle chat, one that is naughty and one that is nice. And based on the photos, everyone will vote with, uh, with their, um, who, everyone will vote who they think is the naughtiest and nicest players. Olivia was voted nicest player, and Lauren was voted naughtiest. Kyle then starts a private chat with Olivia Brandon. He wheels in Brandon and Olivia, and they both have each other's backs. They both send each other's sexy photos to each other. Um, and the entire time, I was dying. The it was it was it was so cringy. It was funny. It, I mean, cringy, it was good cringy that it was so funny. Not bad cringy where I'm like, please stop. Um, but it, anyways, um, I, I think what made it funny was that Brandon was in the fucking hot tub the entire time, like the entire time. And it was, it was, I think that's what helped make it funny, but I don't know. Anyway, so the, uh, right as they're trying to go to bed, they get an alert saying that they have to rate each other and the top player top rated player will become the sole influencer and the ride or die will be joining them to become the secret influencer um it then goes into episode 10 where it's called deadly deadlock um and it picks up right where they left off with everyone rating everyone else the next day lauren speaks to qt privately and they talk about people they are nervous about um, both kind of give a little mm, vague answers a little bit. Uh, QT, um, talk, uh, talks about, um, flirtatious relationship, her, or her flirtatious, flirtatious relationship with Miles. Um, Autumn is then seen talking privately with Jordan. He, uh, she... Or she feels like QT Miles and Olivia have made too harsh of an assumption about her without knowing her, and wonders who um, who he has lost trust in. And before I get go further, while I hear her concerns, I don't think she is really looking at this all the way through because um i she, we don't see her going out of her way to make uh, like talk with these people outside of you know games and public chats with everyone else to kind of bond with them like everyone else has 
um, done except for like Jordan because Jordan is the only one. I, I mean, I mean he's I mean even he's kind of done a little bit with both Autumn and um, uh, Lauren. Um, they're the only two that are really receptive to him. I mean everyone else it, it, like because oh, QT Miles uh, Kyle um, and Kyle they're they're all. Uh, and Olivia, they're like QT, Miles, Kyle, and Olivia are all, you know, not really feeling him. So, I mean, um, anyways, um, so he makes up this lie saying that Miles had flirt has flirted with him in the hopes Autumn believes it. Um, they say they have each other's backs. Um, then they go into another game called Oh, We're Going There, where players will have to ask each other uh, hard-hitting questions to get answers they wanted to hear and do it anonymously. First question is from Miles to Olivia. He asks her, besides saving people, what is something you feel the circle needs to know about you? She says she was picked on when she was younger for being chubby and wearing glasses and struggled, therefore, with, uh, therefore struggled with mental health. Lauren asks Jordan who he feels he's most threatened by. He claimed it's Lauren. Olivia then asks a question to Kyle. Who is his, strong, uh, is his strongest alliance with and why? He doesn't say who, but says that they have all proven their loyalty to each other. Um, which, of course, I figured, you know, Jordan would not like. Uh, Jordan asks Miles, you know, how do you feel about knowing you have the entire circle wrapped around your finger like a ring. He says he's just trying to make authentic connections and if he, uh, if or if the person wants to talk it out, send a message. Um, which of course, Jordan doesn't like. Boo freaking who. <laughs> um, Kyle asks Lauren, why has everyone she's been in alliance with gone home? He throws, she throws a question back asking, it, well, have they? Um, and, question, and continues to say she has some really incredible connections currently. Uh, QT asks Autumn who she is feeling the least comfortable with in the circle and why, thinking that Autumn won't lie or try to skirt around it, but she does. She won't say a name, but the person she is least comfortable with is someone she hasn't connected with personally. Autumn asks, Q, asks QT, out of your current alliances, why would you not mind breaking up uh, which one would you not mind breaking to win a hundred thousand dollars for? Um, and like Jordan asked, no, why the fuck would you openly say something like this? That makes no sense. Like, if you really think someone's gonna answer that in the chat, then you're dumber than you look. Cause I mean, um, and she's obviously, obviously, QT answers vaguely and says the um she's a lot of people who reciprocate her love for the game <laughs> why would you think that that that's not something that happened that's what that she's gonna say i mean and to credit jordan's credit he's you know saying like everyone's gonna answer everyone's answering vaguely which i'm like yeah you're not wrong about that Kyle starts a private chat with Miles and QT. QT asks who are they most threatened by. Miles says he doesn't have connections with two people, Lauren and Autumn. Uh, Kyle says he is willing to get rid of whoever, um, but he suggests Lauren. QT says uh, she has Olivia in her back pocket and is good with all three of them. Or Olivia is good with all three of them, I should say. Um, Kyle shares his alliance with Olivia. And so they, you know... Um, they, um, uh, sort of make a pact to kind of get rid of either Lauren or, or, or Autumn. Lauren talks privately with Jordan. Um, Lauren wants to figure out why Jordan said her name in, um, the questions. And he makes it seem like Miles manipulated him into saying her name. Um, she says it was a miscommunication and Jordan is trying to stress 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 and i'm like dude he sound it like like with paul chris it sounds very fucking personal to him and i'm like it, i don't know why these people are taking it so fucking personally i mean 
I get it. People take will take things personally, and in whatever instance, but it's, it seems way beyond personally to me. I don't know anyone else, but he, I, I don't want him here anymore. And if he wasn't QT's ride or die, I would say just get rid of him if she could, but. I, I, she can't. I mean, I don't think she can. Technically, can I don't technically think she can, which sucks. Cause I'm like, ugh, especially when it gets down to the ratings in a few minutes. Look, uh, that I'm gonna talk about. Because I'm just like, at this point, you're doing way too fucking much. Like, I get you want to make a big splash, but you gotta have more finesse than this to get rid of someone so boldly <laughs> you, you kind of have to cause, because otherwise otherwise you run the risk of having a target on your back for going too hard on someone else so fervently like you have to be like i said more finesse be slicker than that and he clearly doesn't have any fucking finesse so i'm just like um Uh, Lauren, you know, uh, and he says there wasn't a miscommunication because he said she was two-faced. Uh, Miles said he, she was two-faced in his first public chat or in his first chat with Miles. Lauren says she has a good convo with Autumn or had a good convo with Autumn too when they strike an alliance. Um, and I also want to say with Jordan, like I understand he didn't like the fact that Miles was throwing people under the bus. And I, I can see how he would think that. I just don't... I mean... You know what? I'm going to keep... I'm going to wait for that. Because that, that kind of goes into the rating... Into the uh, influencer chat. So the ratings come in. And while a player's ride or die may go with them into the ratings. If they have one... Um, the a player's fate isn't tied to the ride or die now. So if a player, um, if they voted for a player to be blocked, like say Lauren, Autumn's not gonna go blocked either. Um, same thing with like Miles and Olivia. Um, so cute. Uh, so the ratings are number seven is Autumn, six is Jordan, five is Kyle. Four is Lauren, three is Miles, uh, two is Olivia, and one is QT. So QT and Jordan then go to the hangout to block someone. And yet again, here is Jordan and all excited because he assumes that QT is going to be willing to get rid of Miles, which is not going to be the case. And I, I don't get why he thought that that would be something she would do. Um, I don't, you, why, I mean, you're supposed to have a strong, a strong alliance with someone to the end, because it's like, if you have a weak alliance with someone, what's the, what, what, what's the incentive for the person you have a weak alliance with to vote you high? If anything, they're going to vote you low. So, what, what, I mean, so I, I mean, I understand why, um, Jordan doesn't want, say, Lauren or Autumn to go, because they're one of his only connections, so, I mean, if, if one of them goes home, he's going to have to do some makeup work groundwork to get someone else unless someone else comes in because i don't think like this late in the game that someone's gonna come in so um i mean unless i'm wrong because i mean i've only watched episodes nine and ten so far so i don't know for sure that 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 anybody has it will not come into the game this late but i mean literally if someone does they it almost never works out because they're so late they can't make up any real grounds so, of course, they're up next in the chopping block, because, like, why would I want to start all over making a, connection, uh, making a connection with someone new when I have 
like two or three solid alliance alliances with someone already that I can just take with me. So yeah, um I don't really think anyone else is coming in. So I mean, he's going to have to basically start over from scratch with with I mean, he might have like a extremely loose uh connection with Olivia, but um yeah, I mean, Lauren and Autumn are really his only two connections, so I understand why he's at least advocating for one or both of them. But then he tried to go, because he started with Miles, which was stupid as hell, because, you know, you there's no, I mean, if you knew going into this that she, her, her QT's um, strongest alliance was with Miles, why the fuck? Would you decide to then try to get him, get her to vote him? I get you want to make a big splash, but if you knew going into this that th it, this is where again I ask, well, are you dumb or are you dumb? Because why would she get rid of her strongest connection into this game? Because I mean, yeah, she she has connections with Olivia. Um, Olivia and um, uh, Kyle, but she doesn't really have a connect. Obviously, a connection with uh, uh, Lauren or Autumn, and obviously Jordan's not really going to be in an alliance with. So it's like, why would she get rid, like, get rid of her top two connections, plus uh, at least a, a, a mid-level connection with Olivia, like? Just, I mean that that makes no sense. So, I mean, I mean the only thing I can think of is that she's they're gonna get rid of Olivia. That's the only re thing I can think of is that they can get rid of Olivia because he she's obviously staunch on Miles and Kyle, and he's not he's pretty staunch on Autumn, and I'm pretty sure he's not gonna go for Lauren either because that those are his connections. So the only only one that the only one that she can though that they can really come together on is Olivia, unfortunately. So, I mean, I mean, and the only thing that really can, they can do at this point is to kind of send at least one other person in. So that way, because they're going to be, unless someone, because if one person from one camp and another person from the other camp come together to, to be influencers, one of them is going to have to cave unless someone new comes in and then they they one of the camps gains gains an alliance, alliance member so i mean the only safe thing is to either get rid of Lauren or to get rid, or to get rid of Olivia or to get rid of maybe Lauren but i think i feel like what well, could go either way because Lord, uh, Autumn's back is too up against the wall, so I think that's why he's trying to keep her because at least then he can kind of manipulate her a lot, uh, pretty easily. Because then he could, you know, um, because she, because Autumn doesn't trust anybody besides Jordan and. Um, besides Jordan, I mean, it's a little bit, a li I mean, it's not even really Lauren, because Lauren threw her ass under the bus and said this whole hate train on her, so, I, yeah, um, and then Lauren, obviously, he's, his puppet master strings are obviously more strong on her than Autumn, but, I mean, at the very least, um, with Autumn, he could maybe try to solidify it a little bit more but so that's why he's not gonna get rid of either one of those that's why i say the only solution is to get rid of olivia because yeah olivia's connection with qt is semi okay or semi decent it, it's still not strong enough to get to to keep her really um if she doesn't if she, they can't come to a resolution any other way so i mean Again, we'll see um, what ha what happens in episodes uh, eleven and twelve, um, which I will drop on Sunday. 
Um, I might be going to a movie tomorrow, um, on Saturday tomorrow. Um, so, like, and I might be going to that it's around noon. I haven't really decided yet. Um, but either way, I'll definitely try to have the episodes, uh, next two episodes up on Sunday. Um, drop a comment, uh, with what you think about these two episodes. Uh, like and subscribe and share. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, hopefully you have a good weekend. Um, and I will see you guys next time.